going into that game uh, myself, I didn't realize how big that game was going to be. I really did. It was our last game of the season, and it was Notre Dame's next to the last game of the season, and we both had been ranked number one and two all year long. Uh, and so the game was just hyped up, and, and everybody was looking forward to the game. Michigan State and Notre Dame had a very healthy, competitive rivalry. That talent assembled on that field, and not only, not because I was there, believe me, was I got to believe as good a talent ever assembled in a college football game. Both teams were undefeated. And it's the first time in the history, in the history of the NCAA, that we've had 13 first team All Americans between the two teams on the field at one time. That feat has never been replicated, but it was also the first time that an African American quarterback from the South, Jimmy Ray, guided a national championship football team. The fact that it had ended the tie has caused it to preserve itself and its legacy over the years because the rule changes in college football now, uh, there won't be any more ties. And Eric Parsegian even said years later, if that game hadn't ended in a tie, it would have been out of the conscience of any football fan anywhere, any place. But because of that tie, that game still talked about. Here we are 50 years later. There was a, a bond on that team that it didn't matter if we were 500 or if we won every game like we did, we didn't lose a game. Uh, because everybody loved each other. We had the heart of one. 